All right, guys, so we're just working our way around hanging the balusters right now, and I want to show you how I do that. Um, first of all, you need to make uh, the proper measurements. Um, some people use a uh, piece of 2x4, so it gives you a 3.5 inch gap. And uh, while that may work in this instance, calculating the edges, okay, and how that works out, uh, you can do the math longhand, or you can use uh, a link I'll put in the description below. But uh, it's, a, it's a really nice calculator that uh, you input your, uh, your spindle or baluster um, diameter uh, and or width. And then you give it your full run and then the space you want in between and it does a calculation and a graph and shows you what it should look like where your first one goes on center and then the spacing uh, on center between them. And um, I went ahead and, and ran that calculation just so you see. I put a notch in. Okay, I notched the post in uh, diagonally so it will shed water. Um, so if any water gets down in here it will shed. Uh, I'll seal that up real good. And then it sits flush on the front here, so we can put a bolt on the front if we want to. I'll more than likely put a lock on the outside versus the inside just for ease of unlocking. So that locks behind you. Okay, that's working really well. You see I've got all my measurements down here on a scrap box. And, uh, yeah, so anyways, when you go to hang your balusters, I, um, obviously cut all my ends first, okay? And then I came back through and sanded them. And then, obviously, I pre-drilled them, so I came back through and pre-screwed them as well. So now when I go to hang these, I can hang them from the outside, hanging down. And all I'm worried about is my top measures. So you can see i got my measurements marked on the post. I come along and just hold them flush and then screw them in. And I don't worry about the bottoms until I get them all done on one string. So I'll do this string here as well. And then we'll come back through with a um, this carpenter's level. It's a, I think it's four feet, four foot level, and uh, come back through here and just hold it plumb and get all those plumb, and then as they're plumb, I'll screw in the bottom screw. Real easy and guarantees a nice plumb look from the outside. That's about it really, nothing much to it.